The story of Hagar is an example of God writing straight with crooked lines. Hagar was the Egyptian maidservant of Sarah and Abraham. The elderly couple were desperate to have a child since God had promised them that they would be parents of a great nation. After years of frustration, Sarah took matters into her own hands and told Hagar to be Abraham's concubine so that he could have an heir through her. This was not God's plan. God intended for Sarah to have a child. He just had not gotten around to it yet. Before long, Hagar had a beautiful baby boy named Ishmael. A few years later, Sarah was blessed by the birth of Isaac. Ishmael and Isaac got along famously, but Sarah was not happy with the arrangement. She wanted her son to become the father of a great nation and did not want Isaac to share the privilege with his stepbrother. So Sarah had Abraham escort Hagar and Ishmael out of the house. God was able to bring something good out of the unfortunate situation. He sent an angel to tell Hagar his plan. Both Isaac and Ishmael would be the founders of great nations. Isaac would become the father of the Israelites, and Ishmael the father of the Ishmaelites, the forebearers of the Arab people. The story of Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar was very important to the people of ancient Israel. It was a reminder that God had great plans, not only for their own nation, but for their neighbors, the Ishmaelites, too. And years later, this trust in God's provident care became an important tenet of the religion of Islam, which gave a prominent place to the story of Abraham and Hagar and their son, Ishmael.